Hello, this is Adam Crossley, uh, learning leader and coach of English here at ISD, and I'm going to show you how to import tasks from previous years into your current units as you teach. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find your class. We'll use grade 10 as an example here. And you're going to want to go to the tasks tab. And in the task tab, you're going to want to click this button, add resources. This sneaky little guy is very important. When you click there, you will see all of the manage back tasks created all time basically in this course up here. So this is IB, MYP, language and literature. So Tim Cohn is someone who has not been at this school for many years, but I see his resources here. They are listed in chronological order. So this is the oldest assignment ever created in this course, October 20th, and it does not list the year, which is unfortunate, but uh, a fact of life. So uh, as you see, whatever year this is, Tim Cohn posted some as task on the 20th of October, then January 8th, then March 15th, then May 27th. And then the next year, we see Tim Cohn again, and we get a new teacher coming in, Alan Mitchell, and he's posting a task on September 13th and October 1st, and another teacher in here, Martin Fry. So you can kind of take a step back through the history of the teachers at ISD, but you might not want to see all the teachers at once. You might just want to see the ones who have planned your unit previously. That's when this drop-down box becomes nice because you can drop down and just view, for example, Alan Mitchell's files. Instead of seeing everybody's, you'll just see one teacher. Or, for example, here are my resources that I've uploaded. Uh, I'm going to leave it at all for now just to show you how this works. Now because this doesn't tell you the unit or the year, it's a little annoying. You have to go scroll all the way down and find the assignments that seem to match name-wise with the unit you're looking for. I'll say that again. You have to find assignments with names that seem to match to the unit you're teaching. Like, uh, for example, here's some short story resources by Martin Fry and Alan Mitchell and Mary Ross. If I click on any of these, I can go in, I can see, uh, here's a PowerPoint on elements of the short story, okay? So my next unit upcoming in my grade 10 is a radio skit that is supposed to use slang to represent a different cultural community. So I'm going to scroll down until I start finding uh, names that seem to fit. I know it's happening in about November, because as you can see it's November 14th, and this is the unit I'm prepping for. So I'm looking at these Novembers, analytical paragraph, topics can change perception, doesn't sound right. I'm going to keep going until I find some November dates. Here's November again, and we've got character analysis. Um, so no, I don't think we've started that unit yet in that year. And I'm going through to November and slang skits. So like, what's wrong with like? Slang, word process, skit dialogue, improved skit dialogue, our dying words, these all seem to be things that relate to the unit that I'm planning. Oh, these are great. I want to take a look at all of them. So uh, I can take a look at them individually, or I can just simply click on them like this. Click over here. And I can import them all into my class by going to the bottom here and clicking Add Resources. Once I click this, they will all appear in my class. The danger with this is that you will have a bunch of stuff in your class that you don't really want your students to see yet. So what you might want to do is, for example, 
new word meanings. I click on that and I go, okay, I like this task. I want this task to exist in my current unit. I'm going to click this new word meaning here and I'm going to click import as draft. That means it will not show up for my students to see, but I will be able to see it. So I click that, go to the bottom here, and I click Add Resources. And now when I come back to my class, I will see it in maybe semester two. Ah, well that gives us another side lesson. This little bar pulls down, so if you don't see it showing up in your current semester, that means because this is January 19th, which is after the semester rolls over, it might be in semester two. So, hey, there's a quick troubleshoot there. So, uh, I go to semester two, here it is. And now I can edit the task for my own class. I can change it from points to criteria. I can change it from summative to formative. Your students will not see anything you do until you unclick this save as draft button. That's like show my students button. So I'm gonna keep it as a draft and you can change the date to wherever it makes sense in your class. Like if I want this in this current term, I move it there. And now it's back here in the current term. So that's how to import tasks from previous years into your manage back. This will allow you to stand on the shoulders of the giants who have come before and use all these resources that are up there hiding away. The key uh, things you need to remember are this add resource button over here. That one's easy to forget. And then the way to navigate this is by using either this teacher drop down or scrolling down to the right area in the year, the right time period in the year and just sort of looking through and finding where it makes sense there seems to be materials related to your current unit.